Ring spinning and open-end rotor spinning are the two most common spinning systems used to produce yarns for denim fabrics. Twist is added to the yarns during spinning. When the twist in the yarn is in the counterclockwise direction, the twist is called Z-twist. When looking at a yarn with Z-twist, the fiber orientation will be the same direction as the letter Z. This is the most common twist direction for ring spun and currently the only direction available for open-end spun yarns. This twist is called S-twist if the yarn is being twisted in the clockwise direction. When looking at this yarn, the fibers will be in the same orientation as the center portion of the letter S. Open-end rotor spinning is usually just referred to as open-end spinning. During open-end spinning, a strand of sliver is fed into a metal rotating roll that feeds the sliver into a rapidly rotating combing roll that separates individual fibers from the sliver. It in turn feeds the individual fibers into a high-speed rotor where the fibers collect into the required thickness of yarn. Ring spinning is the oldest and most established spinning system. It is based on the very first yarn spinning methods ever employed and continues to be quite popular to this day. While it has changed little in principle, new ring spinning machines are a far cry from the earliest versions. Production rates are still low when compared to rotor or open end and air jet systems, but the yarn quality is still the benchmark for even these newest high production systems. The ring spinning system still enjoys the widest possible yarn count range and excels at producing very fine counts. The hand or softness of ring spun yarn produced fabrics is judged to be second to none. The ring spinning process is quite simple. The roving is the input for the process and passes through a basic, usually three roll drafting system. After drafting, the fiber is twisted into a yarn structure by a whirling spindle which has a removable bobbin on it. The winding of the yarn onto the bobbin takes place due to the traveler and ring combination, thus the term ring spinning. Ring spinning requires a subsequent winding step. That is, the full bobbins must be wound onto a cone or cheese to create a much larger package that is then usable for weaving or knitting. These additional steps of roving and winding, combined with the slow production rate when compared to rotor and air jet, are the primary reasons for the higher cost differences for ring spun yarn. From a production standpoint, open end spinning can deliver the yarn seven to nine times faster than the same size ring spinning yarn delivery. Also, open end spinning uses fewer processes and employs more automation, making it less labor intensive. Thus, basic open end yarn is normally sold at a lower cost than ring spun yarn of the same yarn size. Each spinning system has its advantages and disadvantages. Before the late 1970s, all denim yarns were ring spun. Today, denim fabrics have different combinations of ring and open end yarns. When you hear such terms as ring ring, OE OE, and ring OE, it's referring to what spinning system was used to create the warp and filling yarns respectively. Because of the popular preference for ring spun yarn with its higher strength, more authentic vintage look, and softer hand, many open end yarn suppliers are producing ring like yarns, sometimes referred to as rough spun. These effect yarns are produced by varying the amount of fibers to the rotor spinning box to intentionally make the yarn more uneven. The yarn can also be made hairier and softer by roughing up the yarn surface as it leaves the rotor spinning box. A ceramic navel with grooves causes some of the fibers on the surface of the yarn to pull free as the yarn is pulled across the navel. Today's open end spinning and ring spinning machines are designed to manufacture predetermined yarn effects called slubs. These effects vary from different lengths, different spacing between slubs, or even variations in the yarn count, called multi count. These structured denim yarns are often designed by the fabric designer who chooses from many patterns that have been simulated by the spinner to show what the effect will have on the fabric. The slub pattern can then be easily downloaded to the spinning machine controls. When slubs are only in the warp direction, the fabric is called warp slub denim. When the slubs are only in the filling yarn, 
the denim is called filling slub denim. And when the slub yarns are in both directions, the denim is said to be a crosshatch denim. Core spun yarns are produced on ring spinning machines by adding a spandex yarn to the core of the cotton fibers. Air jet and open end spinning machines can also produce core spun elastic yarns for denim. The drafted cotton fibers twist around the spandex core to produce an elastic spun yarn. These yarns can now be made with slubs and multi-count as well, thus allowing for a slub denim with filling stretch properties. As mentioned, the twill may have a right hand or a left hand angle to the twill line. The appearance of the twill line can be accentuated or diminished by the direction of yarn twist. This table shows the effect of matching the different twill directions with the yarn twist direction. The effect will be a more or less pronounced twill line. For instance, a right hand twill and z-twist gives the fabric twill line a low ridge or soft twill. A left hand twill and z-twist will give a higher ridge on the twill. Remember that z-twist can only be formed in open end yarns while ring spun yarns can have either z or s-twists.